What if you are deadline driven and at the final hour you get the job done superbly, even though your coworkers are kind of a wreck and you can see them around you just, you know, just shaking and like, oh yeah, we got it done, yay. <laughs> you know? That happens often in organizations <laughs> and and it it happens between parents and children too. So if you have a task driven parent and a deadline driven child. There's often problems because the parents are wreck because they're going to the store for construction paper at eight o'clock at night the night before or the child says, oh yeah, and I have this project due tomorrow and the task-driven parent goes crazy and is a wreck or the task-driven parent is often anxious about the child getting something done and nags them. And task-driven coworkers nag deadline-driven co-workers, and task-driven partners nag deadline-driven partners. So yes, task-driven people are often a wreck uh, when they see deadline-driven people and their frenzy of activity at a deadline. However, if they understand that that's their style, it becomes a little bit different, and then they can let loose a little bit. Everybody should be evaluated by just those two criteria never missing a deadline, and that your work reflects your best efforts. Missing a deadline or doing shoddy work is failing. But whether you do something at a deadline or you do it ahead of time, if you don't miss a deadline and your work is excellent, that's success.